Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we'll be joining Olive for her first day of work as a medical intern. Next sim day we'll join Rosie as a detective and the sim day after that we'll join Liam as a scientist and I am just so excited to like get them further in their careers, get them promotions and all of the cool new rewards and decorate their house with them. And of course, getting the extra <laughs> money would be great, especially because I want to get an observatory. Because as I mentioned in the last video, I feel like, you know, if I have Liam use the observatory, especially at night, then maybe there's a better chance of him getting abducted by an alien and maybe getting pregnant with an alien baby. So <laughs> that's one of my main goals is to not only get them promotions, but to get an observatory and also a nano can touchless trash can so that when we throw away their dishes, we get like 40 to 50 simoleons each for them. So, you know, extra simoleons, <laughs> always good. Rosie right now, I'm having her read a book because that's what she needs to do for her aspiration finish reading three books and also achieve level three of the logic skill and I feel like they'll probably all benefit from this but I definitely I, I want to get something to put in Rosie's room you know because they all have things in the rooms Olive has an easel she just finished painting so I'll go ahead and have her sell to collector but you know Rosie doesn't have anything in there so I think once we get some more money, if I don't get an observatory, which is like a thousand five hundred simoleons, and I'll definitely get Rosie something cool to put in there. Maybe an awesome bookshelf because she'll be reading a lot of books or maybe a chess table since she needs the logic skill. So what happened? Reached logic level three and Olive, ooh. Yeah. Eureka! Liam Walsh had, has, has had his second breakthrough and wrote down an idea for synthetic food serum. Click on the notebook button at the top, yada yada. And Olive goes to work soon. He also acquired the comedy skill at the end of the last video. So, where is this thing? <laughs> Check the notebook for synthetic food. Oh, and we, it actually has a recipe. So we need two of any plant and this momentum conserver uh doesn't need anything but that's great because that's his task for his work done i mean he just has to go to work focused and then once we get to work we can work on their work performance you'll see what i mean when we get there with all of today hey chat with rosie what's up rosie oh my goodness olive Oh, they, they're they having a nice conversation. She thinks it's funny. <laughs> Olive's hospital shift is starting now. Care to join her or should Olive go to work alone? We're definitely going to join her. You'll see that it's sort of like planning a social event where you have tasks to complete to it, it for your work performance i know i'm like so bad at explaining things sometimes i'm so sorry clinical orientation welcome olive cooper to a vital and rewarding career in the field of medicine being new to the job it takes some time getting familiarized with the location the people and the basic responsibilities of the profession in time with skill dedication and a passion to help her fellow sims olive will no doubt go far in her career so we so i'm going to pause it i don't want to waste any time <laughs> i want to complete as many many tasks as I can to get the most out of her workday, get her a whole bunch of work performance and stuff. So here is what her workplace looks like. And it's actually in a pretty big area. I don't know if there are any collectibles around here, but I don't think I'll be, you know, spending the, her work time trying to find collectibles, especially because uh, I want all the promotions. I think this might be the detective area, but we'll see that once we once we have that day of work <laughs> in the next sim day. My goodness, okay, so we have to wash our hands to sterilize germs. By the way, here's what the inside looks like. I almost forgot to show you the inside. Bathroom over here, some treadmills so you can uh, perform treadmill tests and a like cafeteria area with a vending machine so you can get some snacks. There's also this area over here, the x-ray room where you can x-ray scan sims and also calibrate it and then over here they have the chemical analyzers so i definitely think all the sims will benefit from using these and we'll also get some more elements and maybe complete that collection it would be the first time i would complete the element collection here are the rooms the like patient rooms exam rooms exam tables and stuff so we'll be interacting with them soon and here 
are the like operating table things where you can deliver babies and uh, also like perform surgeries and stuff. Definitely looking forward to using that. And here, I think this is the skeleton that we're going to get where they said that we could decorate our nurseries with them. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. So go ahead, sterilize your, your hands, wash your hands to sterilize germs and greet two coworkers. Let's give you a funny introduction. And I just saw another Sim. Who are you? Uh, hello, Nina Caliente. Funny introduction. And Nina Caliente, hey. And then what is your name? Derek Royal. Deliver food to a patient on the exam bed. All right, we'll do that. Hello. What What's going on? Rory Arredondo? Uh, I hope that's how you say your name. You little cutie. Aw, would you like some food? Let's give you a funny introduction and then we'll also deliver some food. So what's happening? What's up? Okay, stop talking to her. <laughs> hey, what are we doing? Attend patient on exam bed. How are you feeling? Are you all right? What's wrong? We can also treat patient if we know what's wrong with them, like treat bloaty head with shot and, uh, whoa, you poor thing. <laughs> and also exam uh, examine patient, take temperature, discuss general, general health, uh, or we could treat with medication if it's something that will help their, you know, ailments, whatever. Just getting started. Play The Sims for five hours. <laughs> I guess I've been playing for a while today. Oh my goodness. Rosie is off to work. Nice. And unfortunately, we can't, when they're all at their different jobs, like for Rosie, we can't go to the detective, her workplace while we're here with Olive. You know what I mean? We have to stay with all of this time. Uh, so that's why in the next sim day we'll join Rosie and the sim day after that we'll join Liam. Anyway, we have to greet two coworkers. Wait, I didn't even give you food. Uh, deliver food. Stop, stop talking to me. Who are you? Chat with Derek. Go away, Derek. I have to greet one more coworker. So creative lesson. Uh, she's off to work. Oh, hey, Liam found Volanton, a new element. Sweet. Do you feel better? That looked like a nice big plate of food. Okay, we have to still greet another coworker. Did I greet you? Oh no, I didn't even greet you. What the heck? We'll go greet you. We'll mop up a puddle. I think I saw a puddle. Where did I see? Well, there's one over here. So let's go mop this up. And then we'll also wash our hands once more. And I want to like, you know, give them medicine and stuff. <laughs> did we greet you? Hurry up. I don't, I don't want to spend all this time just walking around or waiting for interactions to happen. Discuss work with coworkers and make bed. All right, I'm just going to talk to you really quickly. Discuss work. Look at the reception area, by the way. Look at how adorable this is. They have like locked drawers and cabinets and, and they even have a, a phone with post-its. Oh, I want to see what the post-its are. Oh, there's a pill on that one. Oh, and a little, a little sick sim head. Oh, they have their own computer. They have a printer uh, slash maybe fax machine. Some more post-it notes and stuff. Okay, we can stop talking to you. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, no, I have to talk to you still. Ask about day. Okay, fine. I'm, I'm done talking though. Please don't make me talk to my coworkers anymore. <laughs> hey, nice outfit. You're looking pretty cool. What's your name? Pierce Epp. Okay, so can we interact with the patients now? Chat with coworkers. Have a cup of coffee. Uh, I think this should count. We have to chat with coworkers twice. Fine. You know what? I'm just going to be funny with you. Goof around. And then we'll do this. And then hopefully, please, please let it be over. I'll get a cup of coffee, brew some coffee, and make a bed. Are there any beds that need to be made that haven't been? Yes, this one. What the heck happened here? How I've never been to a hospital where it was dirty. They always have like bins for certain things, you know. Ah, <sighs> disappointing. Complain about work to coworker. Really? It is our first day of work. I don't want to complain to them. I think Olive's pretty excited about about working here and saving lives and and curing patients. 
Kring Sims. Olive has learned the following traits about... D oh, yeah. Hey, let's have you socialize with your coworkers because with the recent update, they can now meet their coworkers and befriend them. So, like, while they're at work. So that's great. <laughs> Definitely have them do that. <gasps> we can finally interact with patients. All right, brew a cup of coffee. I'm going to put on speed three. We're already almost halfway. Oh no, workday's over very soon, but we're halfway through this performance thing. Maybe we can do this. Maybe, I don't know. I have to have a cup of coffee though. <laughs> uh, okay, so what's up? How are you? How are you feeling? Friendly introduction. Are you all right? What's wrong? Oh, do you have like a uh, chicken pox or something? <laughs> look at those. Those look kind of painful. They're all colorful. They're orange and green. Let's see. Examine patient. Take temperature. This patient has already been diagnosed. Oh, so what do you have? Llama flu. Oh, she has a llama flu. Oh, we have to make a bed again? Are you serious? She hasn't had her cup of coffee? Come on, someone get out of the bed so I can make it. <laughs> <laughs> can I make the bed? <laughs> Complain about work to coworker. That's really not something that I, I want to do, but I guess I have to if I want to try to get the most out of our day, the most career performance that we can through the day. Please stop talking. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, she's feeling energized. Caffeine buzz and nothing like a hot cup of coffee to boost one's energy. Stop talking. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Now I want to complain to this this doctor over here and say, you know, I don't know. What would she possibly be complaining about today? She mopped up one puddle. Maybe uh, <laughs> complaining about having to talk to her coworkers so much. Um, well, whatever. So we have to make a bed and stuff. Let's go over here, wash our hands. You have to wash your hands a lot, which totally makes sense. Hey! It's like almost the entire goth family's here. What's up, everyone? How are you feeling, Mortimer? Admit patient to exam bed. Oh, let's do it. I don't even care that it's not on the, the list. We're doing it. Are we, are we going over here? Come, come. Mortimer, are you okay? What's wrong? Poor thing. You just look so sad and sick. I remember I had to go to urgent care, like last year or something. It took them so long to even... I mean, there was nothing urgent about it. <laughs> sometimes I'm lucky if I could schedule an appointment at a hospital and get it that day. Like, sometimes I, that can actually happen. Hardly ever. But, I mean, I feel like <laughs> I might have had better luck with that than with urgent care. I don't know. It was all right, though. They, they helped me. I just had, like, this crazy migraine that would not go away. I talked about it in a video, like, a while ago. I couldn't do anything for about a week. It was pretty bad. But <laughs> I'm totally fine now. Grab a snack between seeing patients. Do we have to actually see patients or can we just get a snack? A pastry, pre-made meal, sandwich, or soda. Let's get a pastry. I mean, there's a little picture of one. Get a quick bite from the fridge to keep your sim from getting hungry. Oh, I guess it is a fridge because, you know, it doesn't have, like, the vending machine options. But whatever. It looks like a vending machine. Kind of. <laughs> in a way. What, do, what are the blue and red hearts? Is this because he hasn't been treated? Examine patient, take temperature. Could be, mm, maybe, I don't know. I have to continue talking, discuss work. Okay, I don't know if I could do this. Oh no, we had to heat it up. I didn't want to have to heat it up. We only have, we only have an hour and 20 minutes left. Okay, hurry please. Time go by very slow. Did we grab a snack between seeing patients? I mean, technically, we grabbed it. Do we actually have to eat it? Go. I'm going to kick your little butt, <laughs> Olive. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm worried. 54, 3, 2, 1, 0. Oh, Olive's work day will... Oh, it was orange, and I that freaked me out because, like, the fire notifications are orange, and so I thought this was a bad thing. Olive's work day will end in one hour. She should wrap up what she is doing. Each work day can be extended once by clicking on the event timer. Ah. Each work day can be extended once. Click this button to leave work early or stay late. I don't want to... I mean, if I... Oh. Do I get the option? Should I try it? Oh, stay late. I kind of want to stay late. Okay, it's fine, right? It's fine. I'm going to stay late. I'm going to try to fill this because that's just the kind of person I am. I have to get gold. 
or have to get, you know, the best possible thing I could get. <laughs> Chat with coworkers, ask about day, ask about salary. Okay, cool. We did that. Um, chat with Pierce, attend patient on exam bed. Please, please, please. How long do we have? Oh, two hours. Heck yeah. Okay, make bed. Oh, we did it! We did it! Yay! Oh, I'm so happy. More money. <laughs> More money. Hopefully, maybe a promotion. I don't know. Uh, if this is anything to go by, we're not going to get a promotion. This will probably change once we go home or once the day is over. Because I, don't, I think it updates, like, you know, when the day is over and stuff. Look at their cute outfits. Oh. Little, their little shoe things so that they don't... Whoa! Holy moly! Did that not work? Uh, what's that? Attend patient on exam bed. Talk about health care. Whoa. Are you all right, Mortimer? You just like... I don't even know what happened. Electrocuted yourself with the... With the thermometer? Uh, Olive has successfully per performed a practice examination on a patient. <laughs> patient. Test results seem valid, but the specific data is a bit over her head and will be passed along to a physician for diagnosis. It was a good learning experience, though. All right, so I'm going to leave you. <laughs> Maybe is the blue one for, like, higher level doctors and stuff and maybe the red one or maybe the red one is like i need to be helped now because that could be it let's treat patient give llama flu vaccination can we try this is it going to fail what would happen if it does <laughs> who the heck knows all right uh i read that i read that goofball lesson no i already know i already know about goofballs i mean i i, I seriously did give her that trait what that's it what the heck? So Patient cured! Yeah, Vaccine for Nancy Land. Land. Oh, it's Nancy Landgrab! Was successful in her illness, treated. Olive correctly diagnosed the issue, improving job performance. Oh, we are on a roll. Oh, this is so successful. All we have to do make is make the bed, and then we will go wash our hands. Where's the sink over here? Sink, chat with coworkers. Uh, research health reports online. I'm just not down with chatting with all the coworkers all the time. I mean, it would probably be great to get more, uh, to get, to become friendlier with them, but I don't know. I just don't really feel like it. I'd rather help patients and stuff. So what do we have to do? Research health reports online. We can also update patient medical records. Ah, maybe I could do both. She has 22 minutes left. Ah, you could, mm, Maybe finish it? Uh, did we do it? Oh, we did. All right. Work day's over. Olive can now go home in 10 some minutes. I'm just going to let her sit and relax. <laughs> All right. I think that was a pretty successful first day on the job. And I mean, if we didn't get awesome performance, like if it's not in the super green or like at least the middle green, then I would be disappointed. <laughs> End of shift. Olive did a fantastic job today. Promotions and community health are surely in the future. Money earned 188 simoleons. So we didn't get a promotion, but look at that. Totally going to get a promotion on her next day of work. Oh, I'm so happy. That was so successful. I can't believe it. I can't wait to get more rewards and stuff and to decorate their house and like put in windows and get all the things that I want to get. We only have 616 simoleons. Uh, oh, but it looks like Rosie came home with 180 simoleons too. Heck yeah, I'm going to wait until Liam get home. Get, get, what? I'm going to wait until Liam gets home and see how much money he made. Rosie, did you do a good job? Oh yeah, you're like, all, you're at the, at the very first part of this, the second to last green section. <laughs> so that's great. Throw this away, please, and thank you. And Olive, what do you want to do? Do you want to uh, paint a relaxing painting? Oh, what's that? Mathematical diagram for 100 simoleons. Will do. Let's take a selfie. It might be a little bit brighter in here, too. So that's good because <laughs> oh, she's so cute. She's so cute. Let's see if we can change the orientation, make it a bit uh, better fit her, her entire head in there. 
Do we want flash on or off? I haven't seen a difference with that. I don't know why. Oh. <laughs> well, it looks like it's a bit brighter from this angle. And what kind of a filter do we want? I really like that undersaturate. Is it the, yeah, undersaturate filter. My favorite. And also this cool one. Let's give her the warm filter. Take three pictures because you get some money from them. <laughs> and I also want to get, you know, successful pictures taken. Uh, go over here. I have auto lights on. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I have auto lights on because I don't want them to have a ridiculous amount of bills to pay when the time comes. Let's see. Oh, looking so cute. Hey, wait, what happened there? Is that bad? Oh, do you have to like, wait, I'm confused. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to sell this for two simoleons though and sell this one for seven. All right. We are getting all the money. I can't wait to see what the other careers are like because I, I've only seen the doctor one so far. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to being at the, the detective one and the scientist one. I feel like the scientist one though is probably going to be my favorite because I'm all about that science-y stuff. Uh, like the, the chemistry lab and, and creating potions and things. And you can also create a portal into 6M, I believe, which is Maxis backwards. It's the new alien planet. And I cannot wait to go there and see other life forms and stuff. <laughs> wait, did you finish that book? Let me check. No. Hey, read a book. All right, I'll have her work on that later. <laughs> Acquired the logic skill. Nice. Oh, she actually got logic from this. Oh, that's pretty handy. He brought home 216 simoleons. And Rosie brought home 180. And, of course, Olive brought home 188. So I am going to get their mood bars up. I don't know if I'm going to do much else here. Oh, yeah, I forgot that Liam actually got an element. Bullet. Oh, wait, is this the one that I couldn't fit there? Oh, no. I can. Hey, can you come in here, please, so I could see? <laughs> That's the only thing with auto lights. <laughs> Even if you're in the room, you have to have a sim in the room to, like, trigger it. But look at that. Those are pretty. I really want to get all of the the elements because I just, I haven't completed that collection yet. And I feel like maybe I'll have a chance to in this series. So we have 741 simoleons. I need a bit more <laughs> to get the observatory but fortunately olive who i think has work tomorrow and even if we're not going to be there for work she should be getting a promotion so that is great i want to put something in rosie's room whoa look at all this new stuff i haven't really looked at it yet but there is so much stuff in here oh look at this pretty painting time will tell in b flat <gasps> I want to put this painting in her room. I think maybe. How much is that though? 616. I don't think so. We'll get that later. <laughs> um, how about Benny Bones? Oh, such a cutie. There's so much new stuff. Oh my goodness. So I don't know. I want to get her something though. Maybe I'll get her one of those game table things possibly, or maybe a chess table. I think this game one though, it would be good. That doesn't like totally match in her room maybe i'll get her the outdoor retreat one later and we'll get some of these chairs it doesn't re it doesn't really match in there but it's fine for now <laughs> i just want to put something in there because they all have you know these different things for different activities in their rooms and i just want to put something cool in rosie's room so now they can hang out in rosie's room maybe she'll take some pictures of them playing cards and stuff but yeah i am going to take care of their mood bars and in the next video we'll join rosie for her first day of work as a detective and then the day after that we will join liam as a scientist so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you're all having a great day or night wherever you are in the world and i I will talk to you all later. Bye everyone.